Hello everyone, John Waffle HTP here, and today I'm going to give my thoughts on this bye week about the recent news about Phil Jerkovic being benched. And if I, my if you guys want my honest opinion, um, completely delayed. It should have happened two weeks ago uh, after the West Virginia loss. So it looks like, based on some of the articles I'm seeing, Christian Bielix is going to be the quarterback. I know a lot of people gave him crap against North Carolina, but let's be honest, he was not prepared. He was not prepared, and the offensive coordinator and the coaches failed him. And, and honestly, uh, no matter what we do, I don't care if we go undefeated the rest of the way, which we're not. Gonna, we're not going to beat Notre Dame. We're not going to beat Florida State. We're not going to beat Duke. We're probably not going to beat Louisville next week. But um, Signetti needs to go. Um, it doesn't matter. You guys know my thoughts on it. Two years of this disastrous defeat. I know a lot of people like uh, Chris Pete. Uh, on Panther Lair is defending this garbage is complete Narduzzi ass kisser but I mean I know Narduzzi's not going anywhere but the court but the offense is not going anywhere either I think we need to go higher Baylor's quarterback Baylor's offensive coordinator or something some flashy offense we need at least air raid we need something going because this isn't working I mean <laughs> this is not working this is not an offense I mean I don't I mean this is absolutely garbage but, um, and it sounds like, uh, the Steelers offense is garbage too, but that's a whole different story. But moving back to the topic at hand, it looks like Phil Jerkovic from some of the sources I'm seeing, he's going to be the tight end. And honestly, I, I think I could see him there. He's pretty tall. He's pretty muscular. I mean, he's the right fit, but I mean, We'll see what happens. I mean, I just want him out of the quarterback spot, and he got out of the quarterback spot. I would love him if he's a great tight end, and this will be his final year with the program. I don't think he has a seventh year, so, I mean, we won't have to see him again after this, and we probably won't have to see Signetti after this, but, I mean, guys, I mean, I'm just, I'm not, like, happy. I mean, I'm happy that they finally took it seriously, but they waited until the bye week. I mean, they, they didn't care about the season, obviously. Uh, we're no longer in the running for the ACC, but we probably were never were after the Cincinnati loss. I mean, it's, I mean, it's over until it's not over until it's over. But I mean, our best bet is basically to get to a bowl game because we have no chance of winning ten games this year either, unless we like schedule against a bunch of scrubs. But I mean, that's not going to happen. But to the point, I'm saying, I mean, good. I'm glad Phil Jerkovic is being benched. Again, I mean, I, I I was hoping we'd be good. I you saw the videos in the whole in the whole off season. I completely complimented him, and I want to take that all back because that is um, I feel like an idiot now. I mean, now that I saw the true colors, he was from Boston College, not not Baylor University, where all the offensive players go, or like some of these Big Twelve schools. Um, he was from Boston College, uh, and there's no really good offense there. There really isn't. I mean, you know how they play. So that being said, guys, I mean, um, <laughs> I'm glad he's th I'm glad he's being benched, and we'll see what happens. I mean, I don't think he's a good quarterback. So I mean, I know I'll, I'm still seeing some pit fans going on saying oh it's not Signetti's fault it's it's it, we don't have the right playmakers and that's complete bs but if you recruited if you were a good coach you would get the right playmakers by the way but you're not so for me not going on to a much of a rant yes this is supposed to be kind of a positive type of video but i mean guys i'm just not happy the season's already a bust and um Hopefully, Christian Belix, I will say the positive here. Now, get to the positive. If Christian Belix does become a very good playmaker, maybe he will be in the next star for Pitt, and we'll see what happens next year, maybe the year after. But the start, maybe we'll see upset against Notre Dame, maybe upset against Florida State like Pickett did against Miami. And yes, the season is not uh, technically not lost, but the way this offense is playing, it seems like no one really cares at this point. And we need to get that back together. I think for an order us in order for us to beat a good Louisville team, to start winning games, we need to start seeing players only meetings to get these kids pumped up because the coaches are not pumping up the kids, obviously. Um 
but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I, I'm not sure the outcome of this. Uh, Christian Felix may suck too. And honestly, I think it's really on Signetti. I know Phil Jerkovic wasn't really good um, and for a few years now, but um, Signetti is the real cancer to this team and he needs to go at the end of the season. I'm sorry, nothing against him personally, but I mean, the best thing for Pitt football in 2023 is to fire Signetti at the end of the season. Now, with that being said, guys, I mean, that's all I really have to say for this. I think, I, yes, I think Jerkovic could be a better tight end than quarterback. I mean, he's built better for tight end. I mean, look at him. He's 200 and something pounds, and he's 6'4". So, I mean, we'll see what happens. So, with that being said, guys, we've got to stay tuned. Uh, we got to enjoy the off season. I mean, we got to enjoy the bye week. It's not the off season yet. I kind of wish it was the off season, so I wouldn't have to be getting mad every week now about pit football. But um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments section. I hope this is a turning point for the for the team. But again, I don't want it to be as good that we need to keep Signetti another year because he's not good to, for this program. He is not good at all, not flashy at all. We need to hire someone out of the Big 12. That is where I know we need to get because that is where all the offense is. And with a good defense that we can build with Narduzzi and the, our defensive coordinator, we need to hire the right offensive coordinator. And you guys say Wimple wasn't good. We need to hire someone better. That's all I have to say. So that being said, guys, let me know what you think in the comment sections. Uh, again, guys, I'm disappointed about the season, but I'm happy that the Jerkovic era is apparently coming to an end at Pitt. Uh, pretty long and treacherous uh, era it was, even though it was about four weeks or five weeks, if you want to put it long. But uh, we need to move on, and we need to move on good. So with that being said, guys, smash the like button, share this video. And as always, guys, as bad as the season's going, hail to pit.